Hey, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and I'm here with Rick. Hello. And he's got his buddy, Old Blue. I do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We are here doing our finance videos that we <clears throat> promised a little while ago, but we had to take a little break because I had my wisdom teeth removed. Yes. So anyway, this is the first video answering questions that you guys asked us about how to handle personal finances. And this week we're going to talk about one topic that had several questions, but they were related, okay. and that is bank accounts. Okay. We had a few questions. Rick and I have gone over them all and uh, mm -hmm. talked about it, and this is the one we decided to do this week. Yep. So first question we were asked was how we handle our bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Do we have joint bank accounts? and what are our feelings on couples who don't have joint bank accounts. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and get started with your thoughts. Well, you can talk about maybe what we do first. Okay, we have a joint bank account. We have one bank account. Well, we have two technically because we have the checking and the savings, but you know, one checking, one savings, both of us together. What my preference is, is that I like a shared bank account. Mm -hmm. uh, checking, uh, savings, uh, if my name is on it, her name is on it, and and vice versa, you know. Yeah, I think that's so. pretty much any of our joint properties, like this house, yeah. is in both of our names. Uh, I think our vehicles are all yep. in both of our names. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, if it's one of ours, it's both of ours. It's right, just right. just how we roll it. So. Uh, there's a couple that I know lives uh, in the county here, and... Uh, they're a younger, cu younger couple than us, and they've only been married eh, maybe less than 10 years. And when they started out, they had uh, her stuff and his stuff. Mm -hmm. And they did that for a couple years. And uh, I talk a lot with uh, the husband. And um, I was encouraging him to possibly think about uh, having a, a, a one account mm -hmm. and really start to share stuff. And uh, he was interested in it, and I think he talked about it with his wife. And at some point, they decided that they would get one account. And it was less than a week after they did it that he came to me and was telling me how much better it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's really just a different level of commitment mm -hmm. that, um, that you're just really committed to, to, to the one that the Lord has put you with and that you, you really, because the idea is that you're one, you know, and uh, it's hard to be one when you're spread out all over yeah, the place. You're separating everything. You know? so. Well, that's funny that you bring that up because the next question was, um, what the, somebody asked me, said that they were currently not married, and uh, but were engaged to be married. And mm -hmm. they both had separate accounts for the moment, which I do think is a good idea if you are not married. Because oh, sure. until the marriage day comes, you know, we, we've actually had people that we know that they were engaged and decided not to get married within a week of their marriage day. So yeah. even if you think everything is good, you never know until you're actually married. It's mm -hmm. good to keep them separate. But um, anyway, but once the, the person that asked the question said that we're getting ready to get married, how do you, um, how do you think we should transition into mm -hmm. having joint accounts? And I think exactly what you just said, I don't, I don't, it might take a period of time for different people, mm -hmm. but I don't think you should be afraid to just jump right in because you jumped right in when you said I do, really. <laughs> so, right. Right. I mean, just jump right in and create those accounts and make it work. Mm -hmm. You know, put the money together. I think it's a big, the biggest transition is the mental transition from things being yours and things being mine and then other things being ours. It's right. all ours. Right. It all goes that, in one pot. That's marriage. Mm -hmm. You share a room, you share a bed, you know, you share your finances, you share everything. Children, you share your home. Yeah, I mean, right. there's, there's, you when share you're, life. When you're, when you're dating, mm -hmm. you know, the very best, the very best day when you're dating, it's still friendship. Mm -hmm. You know, but once you get married, it, it's friendship, but it goes a step further. Now you're family. Mm -hmm. That's and, and it's a family member unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Because, because it, it is, is like the Lord says, you're one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I think that, you know, and it, it's, it's everybody's own opinion, but if you choose to have your own money, your own accounts, and everything's still separated, I can see how someone would think that was smart, but in reality, I think you're doing a disservice to what marriage really can be. That's true. Because marriage is really such a wonderful blessing. I mean, I couldn't imagine myself being uh, not married. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it's really a great thing, and and I tell you, I, I think if you continue continue to ha continue, excuse me, to have your own account, 
and stuff and, and what's mine is mine what what's hers is hers you really might hinder yourself from ever getting to that level where everything is just like one mm -hmm. you know everything is nice you you have that shared bond that is unbreakable and I think you know what and I'd almost say that a lot of marriages that have troubles big troubles and, and they waver back and forth if you if you really look at their relationship they probably try to keep his stuff his and her stuff hers and they haven't committed to sharing everything to be one because we we share everything and I'm not patting myself on the back but what what's mine is hers and what's hers is mine yeah. I mean I have I have a cup <laughs> <laughs> but if she wanted to drink water in, in my cup I mean or yeah. coffee or yeah or her decaf <laughs> oh, which, which, her decaf. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I say that's hers because <laughs> he yeah. doesn't drink it. Well, it's not really coffee. It's it's brown. It's brown water. Is what it anyway, is. Anyway, we're not getting she, into that right she now. She can have that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so one of the things I will uh, say is that um, oh you know, just because you share a bank account, there's usually one person in a family that handles the finances. And sometimes yeah. it's the wife and sometimes yeah. it's the husband. Most people I know, it's the wife that handles the finances. I've heard it both ways, but yeah. yeah. Most just uh, in my experience, that's just what I've, in our family, it's me. I usually write yep. out all the checks and handle all the bills. Mm -hmm. And you know, he just, he's happy knowing that all the bills are paid and it's good. So and my, my mom and dad did it the same way. Mm -hmm. My dad worked, my mom was a stay at home mom and he brought home the paycheck and she, you know, put it in the bank and she put did all, all the checks. bills and everything. And they did it as a team. Yes. Uh, it, you know, that's the thing. I think that's the thing. You do it as a team, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's hard to be one team when you have two accounts. Yes. You know, or separate accounts. Is well, what but I should I, say. what I just want to say though is, is that a lot of times when I write the bills, mm -hmm. he's not there. Oh no. You know, oh. we don't have to have a sit down money meeting every month. But there's no secrets. No, I mean, exactly. I know what's going on. The and, thing and about our finance, exactly, it's a constant conversation. Like with our kids, it's what's open, word, it's on the board. What's the word? Transparent. That, yeah. Everything exactly. is out in the open. She knows, I know. Yes. Yeah. I think the, the, the great thing about um, the way we handle it in, in terms of what I think has been good for our marriage is that everything is out there. Like I said, we even have it on the board for the mm -hmm. kids. So we all know what's going on. There's mm -hmm. no uh, concerns about anything that's dishonest or secretive or anything going on behind the scenes. It's all out there. We all know what's going on. So, so even though so, he's not writing checks, yeah. so he knows everything's happening. Because you brought up the kids, it almost goes beyond an account just for you know her and I. It, it's almost a family account. Yeah, it really is. Because the kids see it, the kids know it, and we've talked about that in other videos, how it's a training thing for mm -hmm. them. And hopefully they're getting it, and they're going to be able to, uh, you know, continue that on when in they're their older. Own household, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, right. so I think that um, in other families, mm -hmm. they might handle it a little differently. Like sure. we know one family yeah. where the husband handles all the bills, mm -hmm. and um, he writes all the checks and does everything. His wife is on the account, but she doesn't want to deal with wondering what's in the account and wondering whether or not there's enough for her to, you know, go to Chick-fil-A or something with the kids. So the way they handle it is that she gets a weekly allowance. Mm -hmm. Now I know some people might be like, he's giving me an allowance, what am I a child? And they might be offended by that, but they like it's that. It's just the word allowance. Yeah, I, I think, I think it's the word. It almost, allowance is something you give to a child. Yeah. So, you know, this is a grown woman. But <laughs> just, just, if you don't like the word allowance, name it something Stipend, else. Stipend, I don't know. <laughs> there's yeah. gotta be another name for it that's not offensive. But, but the, the point idea is, yeah. is smart. Yeah, the point is because they that have a lot of kids they do you know? have a lot of so, children so if if he was to put uh one more thing on her now you also have to worry about the money i think it would be just and too i do much. think that's it i do think that's why she's comfortable with the arrangement because basically he said here i'm going to give you this much money and you can do whatever you want with it go to the thrift store go to chick-fil-a yep. buy the kids whatever they need this is this is for you to do whatever you could save it and like buy yourself a piece of property if you want but i mean this is your money do what you want with it this is for you to take care of the kids and any other incidentals have at it and enjoy mm -hmm. and he feels comfortable because he knows that you know money's not just going to disappear from the account that he wasn't prepared for and she feels comfortable knowing that she ha you know doesn't have to ask him for money you know she could just go spend and do what she needs to do with the kids and uh you know it's everything's free and she knows she's not interfering with what's going on with the bills mm -hmm. so you know you might have to work out a different system depending on you know what things that you have i know a lot of uh, wives that handle the finances their husbands go to work and buy lunches during the week mm -hmm. so they might have a lunch budget 
uh, amount that mm -hmm. they have every week and you just hand them the money and say, here's your lunch money, you know, whatever. Nobody wants to be the one to ask yeah. your spouse. That's the point of having everyone's name on the account. But you do want to discuss it. There has to be communication. Mm -hmm. and, and in all honesty, I don't know how different couples are, but I think if you have different accounts with different people, there has to be even more communication. Exactly. I think, it makes then, it more complicated. Yeah, because you can't just look at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not your name. But I, I just think it's a, it's a marriage building thing to have uh, everyone on one account. Um, one of the things I will say is um, when we had our toughest money struggles and we had the least amount of money was when it was really a blessing to us because we really had to work together to make that money the work. Team, the team thing. It's true. Yeah. But I, I'm really glad that we had that period of time because we were forced to work together mm -hmm. and make that little bit of money work. And it really taught us how to put it all in a, in a big pile <laughs> and, and make it all... all make sure it worked for every little thing that we needed and, mm -hmm. and to help us think of our, ourselves as a as a unit because rather than individuals because in all honesty i mean and the money is just um a fruit of marriage mm -hmm. you know it, it's not the main thing no uh but the thing is that in in reality if the husband is trying to do his thing over here mm -hmm. you know and he has his money to do this and he's focused on this and she's doing her stuff over here and you know the same thing um, you know, you, you kind of got to wonder what their view of marriage is. Mm -hmm. Because it, to me, it, it's two single people trying to live in a house. Yeah. But but marriage is different. Marriage is that team. Mm -hmm. Marriage is we got a problem and we got to figure out together how we're going to solve it. Yeah. I you think know, it's that everything it's, is it's a we. A, it's a togetherness. It's, but, like I said, it's family. Yeah. We don't have like... Like, uh, Rick doesn't have a certain amount of money for him, and I don't have a certain amount of money for me that we right. use during the week. We have one entertainment budget. Mm -hmm. It's for the whole family. Yeah. It's for whatever the kids want to do, if they want to go to, you know, a youth event with the church, or if there's something with the homeschool group. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if uh, Rick and I want to go see a movie. I mean, it's one budget for the whole family. It's mm -hmm. one for everybody. Yeah. And we have to work together to make sure that that, you know, everybody's needs are taken care of. It's not always, you know, Brianna gets, because Brianna's the baby and, you know, that's how that is. But it's not always, and the girl and yeah, it's not always her getting to do all the things she wants. You know, we have to make sure that the boys have an opportunity to do things. You know, dad sometimes gets left out and it's like, oh, dad needs to go out and have some fun and do some things. And but mommy's da but out. dad's easy going. Yeah, well. You know, I, I like it if they're having fun. Yeah. You know. You're a good guy. So, so all I mean, really, <laughs> I just—he's yeah. happy with old blue. They're get, you know, in all old honesty, the if, they, if they want to do something, just give me a cup of coffee. I'll sit to the side, smile, and watch them have fun. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me. I'm content doing that. Yes. You know, I don't. I don't want to be the center of attention. I just like to know everybody. Not you. Huh? No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it. I, I don't. I don't. Anyway, so so that's just one thing in terms of um, no putting to, getting used to be, having bank accounts together. I think it's just that change of mindset. It's not just you two as individuals. Now uh, you're a we. It's us. It's a family. Even if there's just the two of you, yeah. you're a family. That's, that's a true. family. You don't need that's kids true. to be a family. You two no, no. are a complete family. The husband and the wife is the family. family. When, kids when, just add to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, when right. the, but when the kids are gone, and it's just you two again... It's still a family. Yeah, is the family broken? Is the family gone? No. It, it, this is it. Exactly. So the third question that we had about bank accounts was, uh, we were <laughs> asked how you handle having the one bank account. Like, uh, I know that I'm going to link up here to the top to this channel, His and Her Money. They actually interviewed me about my grocery budget. But uh, His and Her Money are um, a channel that I enjoy watching. And uh, Ty and Talit are really, really sweet, great Christian folks. We love them. Uh, but anyway, they talk about how they have 13 bank accounts. Mm. 13. And uh, those 13 bank accounts are for their different bills. And they have it organized so that, you know, each account is for each separate bill. Mm. And uh, but so we were asked if we have different accounts for different needs uh, or if we have different accounts, like if we have something big we're saving for, like if you were saving for a down payment on a house um, or if we have one account, how do we handle doing the different bills? Mm -hmm. And so the simple answer, which we already answered at the beginning, was we have one yep. checking account and one savings account, mm -hmm. period. So we don't have different accounts for different bills. It's just a lot for me to keep track of. It's yeah. a lot easier for me yeah. to keep it in one account. 
and you I mean, would hate it if you had to look I, at their account. I know. Yeah, I mean, if you're super organized and you can handle that, fine. Uh, you know, to each their own. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think but, it's a personal preference. But me, I struggle with like OCD. <laughs> and if I had 13 accounts, I would try oh, to no. alphabetize them, and no. I would try. I would obsess about he them. Would. It would be and so It would bad. keep me up at night. Oh. You know, I, to me, for me to have peace of mind, I have to. And for me, I have to be simple. I have to simplify everything. One we account. need one account. We just need to be really organized yeah. with that one. Yeah. You know, on paper, you can do it on paper. You know, this goes here and that goes there. Yeah. And, you know, if you <laughs> if you gave me 13 accounts. No. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I know. I know. The vein would come out. <laughs> you see, and I think it's really easy to just take your little checkbook and your little check register and mm. then, you know, make sure that, you know, when you put money in and you, you're taking money out, you just and subtract it, you know exactly what you have. And it's yeah. really easy since we have online banking now. Every day you could look at your bank account and say, okay, this is what we have, this is what has come out, this is what hasn't come out, and make sure that you're not overdrafting. Mm -hmm. So, I yep. mean, if you're getting down that low. Um, I do like to keep my checking account at a minimum and anything extra moves into the savings because I want right. I want to make sure the money that we're using in the checking account that's flowing in and out isn't too much because it, in my experience it's just like if you go out to the store mm -hmm. and if you take a hundred dollars you might spend a hundred dollars yes you know what I mean but if you spend, take ten dollars you're not spending more than ten dollars so I keep as little as possible in the yeah. checking account make yeah. sure I can pay the bills make sure we have what we need for food and gas and things like that and then anything else will go into the savings account and then you we have the freedom with you know transfers online and things that if we need more we can transfer in and out whatever we need to do yeah but yeah. Um, but that's that's pretty much how we do it mm -hmm. so um, I hope that answers your questions about bank accounts. If you have any more, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you um, like what we had to say about bank accounts and joint checkings and all of those things. And if you have any other comments about how you guys do it in your household, you can share that as well. Mm -hmm. So yep. anyway, this is just our first video for uh, financial questions. Um, thanks for asking all of your questions. We'll try to make sure we get to them all here as soon as we can. So. All right, you all have a uh, wonderful Sunday. We're going to go hang out and enjoy our date afternoon, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button, and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!